Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan. Uh, we're going to continue our video series on f family law issues designed, of course, to educate the, the, the public and, and give you information that you need for your legal matter. So please subscribe to our channel. Today we're talking about something very interesting, a delicate issue, but an issue that is raised a lot. And by raised a lot, I mean we get a lot of calls about this all the time. Calls, emails, inquiries. The issue is with somebody who's trying to uh, get married to someone who's technically <coughs> still married to someone else. Now, how does that come about? It's very simple. Two people get married, maybe when they're young, maybe you know they didn't have much together, and they end up getting separated, and they kind of forget about each other. Twenty years later, there's a, a, a romance, and all of a sudden, someone wants to get married. And then they think, wait a minute, can I do this? I may still be married to the first guy. Did it, was there a divorce? Was it finalized? I thought I signed something. You know, that kind of thing comes up all the time. So there's a couple things you got to do. Number one, consult an attorney. Find out what is necessary and what the legal requirements are for you to, uh, you know, get married under these circumstances. Is what, what, in other words, what you have to do is somebody is technically married and how can you go about that? You also have to determine, does your state where you're in, does it have some sort of waiting period? There are many states that have a separation requirement. Do you require that? Do you meet the separation requirement? Now, in this particular uh, instance where um, people have been estranged for many years, you're probably going to make that requirement. But it's important to find out what are the technical legal rules regarding uh, this. <clears throat> and lastly, Consider the alternatives. Can you file a petition to dissolve that first marriage, even if nobody ever did? Uh, if you've been uh, married for a short time and then basically separated the whole marriage, but it's been many years, are you a candidate for an annulment? Probably not, but state to state, it's certainly worth uh, looking into that. So if you want to get married to someone and you find out that you're technically still married, you don't want to go th ignore it and go through with that marriage because that marriage will be invalid. You're going to have to take the, some step, uh, you know, to, to inval uh, invalidate or terminate that first marriage so that you are free to engage in the second marriage. Now, if you have any questions about that, reach out, and of course, we'll be glad to help you out.